The Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and its teaser trailer debuted just two days ago over at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, leaving a lot of fans around the world speechless as to what they heard at the very end of the footage, just as the logo of The Rise of Skywalker appeared when we hear Emperor Palpatine's voice in laughter in the background. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, two things that's really great about all of this that we learned a couple of days ago is that J.J. Abrams, number one, confirmed Palpatine's return, and number two, he also confirmed that Ian McDermott is back as Emperor Palpatine once more in this movie. However, what's really interesting about this film has all to do with Emperor Palpatine and why it really is mystifying a lot of the Star Wars fans around the world from what they heard at the very end of the teaser trailer. Now, what's really exciting about Palpatine is that it's described that he's not just going to be a normal cameo or a little appearance for one second or, you know, a minute or anything like that. It's actually described that he's going to be quite significant to a certain plot element in the movie. Now, what plot element of the film that em Emperor Palpatine will be important for, we're not quite sure. It could have something to do with the MacGuffin of the story, or it could also have something to do with a specific character like Rey. But nonetheless, Palpatine is going to be quite significant in this movie, and not just a mere cameo, so don't be worried about that. Now, these past six to seven months, we have been going over, of course, all the different leaks of Palpatine, ranging from holograms to vision sequences and dream sequences, and even a certain realm that both Ray and Kylo Ren go through at a certain point in time in this movie. So, so far, it seems like that they are going down that route. As far as him coming back to life, we'll have to wait and see if there are any clues or hints down the road, if that's actually going to come into fruition. But like I say, the exciting news here is that he's not just going to be a mere cameo for, you know, two minutes like Darth Vader was in Rogue One. He is going to be quite significant in this story in a very unique way. And I think that's the reason as to why they really needed to get Ian McDermott back on board, is because they needed the true version of Emperor Palpatine. They needed the Palpatine that a lot of fans know and love. You know, if you grew up with the originals or the prequels, whatever have you, you always grew up with Emperor Palpatine regardless. And that's what's great about that character is that he has been around forever. I mean, we even heard him in the Force Back vision in The Force Awakens when Rey is running down the corridors of Cloud City as it tumbles and collapses. You do hear Palpatine's voice in the background. And just even as Kylo Ren stabs the warrior in the Force vision, if you listen carefully, you do hear Palpatine say, any Jedi, audio taken directly from Revenge of the Sith and implanted into, of course, the Force Back vision. And a lot of people are always wondering, since The Force Awakens, as to why Palpatine's voice was in that Force vision in The Force Awakens. Now, some of you guys out there may have not heard this. You gotta really do, you know, a lot of work on your audio levels and you really gotta make it all high quality and clean it up and you hear it clear as day. There's a lot of videos on the internet where you can hear all the audio of The Force Awakens flashback and you can hear Palpatine, you can hear Obi-Wan, you can hear all these different characters, such as, you know, Luke Skywalker and stuff like that. But moving on to Palpatine, guys, you know, the fact that he will be significant to a certain plot element in the movie, I think that means that it has something to do with the MacGuffin. Now, the MacGuffin is a plot device in the film that moves the story forward. And it really does make one wonder here, exactly what is Palpatine going to do in this movie if he is indeed going to come back to life, if they really do bring him back to life. Full-fledged, right? I don't know exactly how the fans would react because that would kind of change the very ending of Return of the Jedi of, of course, Darth Vader's sacrifice. But after all, episode nine, it has been said that it is going to have saga-wide implications and earth-shaking twists and turns, as said by Richard E. Grant on Radio Times. So, with that being said, guys, I will say that Emperor Palpatine, by far one of my favorite characters, he's really up there with Luke Skywalker, Anakin, and Darth Vader for me. I don't know about you guys, but Ian McDermott as Emperor Palpatine, I love the character, I love the actor, I love how he came on stage over at Star Wars Celebration where he's like, roll it again, he does that little voice. I loved it, it was great, it was perfect, and a lot of fans just enjoyed that. 
So what do you guys think about Emperor Palpatine's return? How do you feel about this? Do you think that it's an act of desperation by Disney and Lucasfilm? Or do you really think it's going to fit the story in a genuine way by Disney and Lucasfilm where it's just going to make perfect sense? Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.